guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. Basically, this is the makeup launch that made me end my no buy pretty early. There were a few other things too. There were just so many good releases towards the end of May and I have been keeping my eye on trend mood and it doesn't look like anyone is slowing down but I'm gonna save all of that for a future will I bite video. I'm just, it's just crazy. It's just unreal and yeah. Anyway, today I'm so excited because I came home to a package from Sephora. I was tracking this baby like it was my job and I'm so, so excited because I did get the new Huda palettes that launched. So I haven't even opened this. I didn't want to, you know, see what they look like until I was set down to film. And here they are, so bright and neon. Oh my goodness. I should have worn neon to pay tribute, but oh well. And then I did get um, a little sample of the Hourglass gloss been dying to try these hourglass lip glosses so this is a nice way to try it and the shade i got is unreal have you guys tried these let me know they're definitely very pricey so i don't want to you know buy them full price anyway this is what we're here for and i just have a little bit of base on just so you know i don't scare anyone and I'm gonna attempt to get this up tonight. And I'm gonna use a white base today because these are neons and I've definitely been enjoying this white base from Makeup Revolution. I'm not really somebody that works with white bases, um, but since I really enjoyed this one and since we're working with neons today, I decided to go ahead and use a light base because like the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute palette does not work with my skin tone on um, just my regular primer. Like if I use like the MAC Fix Plus, it doesn't, you know, do anything. So I want to use a white eye base to give this its best shot. This um, eye primer is really nice. A little goes a long way. So I usually don't use a whole lot today. I'm just, I'm honestly putting on extra because I really want to see how pigmented these shadows are. Okay, so I think I got a good amount of base on. Let's open these, let's swatch them. Fun little trick. I need to get my nails done so badly. And then just so you guys know too, I have a little bit of a Huda obsession. I do have these little guys from her previous collection. I did try out some of the originals. I didn't love the quality of these. I do love Huda's bigger palettes. I have all three of her bigger palettes. Actually, I have four because I did buy the redone version of her rose something textured rose gold palette or whatever. These palettes are plastic. I did see some people were kind of iffy about that. This neon is raised. All the writing is raised. See, there is some texture. Ooh, <gasps> pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so on the back here, it says it's a pressed pigment palette. 12 month shelf life. That's gorgeous. That's the pink one. And then timestamps. I will put it in a pinned comment down below so you guys can skip ahead if you just want to see how these perform. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. <gasps> Not even for like the matte shades, but the shimmers just look so different and fun. Oh, this is such a genius thing for her to do. Honestly, I was just like freaking out when I saw these. And here's the orange obsessions. Or no, this is the pink. Oh no! Oh no, they sent me two of the same. Seriously? Bummer, I'm gonna have to call Sephora, I guess. Okay, so I guess we're only working with two palettes. Jeez, this has happened to me before. It happened to me with the Paradise collection from Ace Beauté. Okay, we're just gonna give it a little swatchy swatch. I can't believe it. I don't think I ordered this pink twice, but I'll double check, I guess. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're pretty light, but they're so pretty. <laughs> I was really hoping Miss Huda would create some shadows that packed a punch. Oh, these are, they're like iridescent. Wow. Oh, they're so pretty. Do you guys see that? Oh, 
beautiful. These are like some really beautiful inner corner highlights almost. Definitely gonna have to get some glitter glue involved. Ah, I'm so bummed that they sent me two of the pink ones, but the pink one is beautiful. Now I'll just have to wait one more day to get the orange. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Here's the pink. Ooh, pretty. Oh, oh, so pretty. There's definitely more mattes in the pink palette. Pink palette has five mattes and four shimmers. The green palette has three mattes and six shimmers. Wow, oh my gosh. That is so stunning, you guys. I don't even know what to do. Let's start with the pink one first. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. This is the Wayne Goss number 19. I wanna go into this coral shade. I just wanted to start by placing that right in the... Isn't that funny that the day I decide, oh, I'm not gonna look at the package, I'm just gonna open the box on camera is the day that I get... Like, why does that happen? <laughs> Why does that happen to me? I must have pissed off the makeup gods when I ended my no buy early. These are definitely applying like a pigment, so I don't think blending is the way to go with this, but okay, now I'm gonna go into that hot pink shade. Ooh, that's pretty. There's this really pretty lilac color. I might use that for my lower half okay that's pretty much all i was gonna do actually for the crease just two colors let's try one of these as a highlight this white shade i see some color okay let's do should i do creases first and then do lids i don't know what i'm doing guys i'm just like in shock a little bit okay so for the green i think i just like the neon green this is what happens when I try to find neon eyeshadows. They just don't really pack a punch. Pinks I usually don't have problems with, but like finding a green or a yellow for my skin tone is so hard to do for me. I mean, I know there's people that are like makeup artists. This is so dusty. This is kind of how the green shadow from ColourPop looks too on me. And like I was saying, I know there's makeup artists out there that can like make stuff like this work. But I'm just like a regular person. Honestly, like no tea, no shade. I just like makeup a whole lot and I like to make makeup videos. But I am definitely not a makeup artist by any means. Okay, I just wanted to clean up that white base. So I'm standing out over the green. And let's do the same brow bone highlight. I feel like that shade already has kind of hard pan forming on it. These are going to be so hard to show you guys, but anyway. Ooh, so many fun colors. Ah! Okay, lid shades. Let's do some lid shades. I haven't used glitter glue in a while. You guys know I like using these for my glitter glues. Oh, today is the perfect time to try out my Anastasia glitter glue because I haven't yet. I want to go in with this iridescent color. I wonder if that's going to mess up the shadow. This is a very pretty eyeshadow color. It's like a pink to green. Oh my god, I hate this glitter glue. It's like hard as rock. Oh my goodness. Oh, is it better with my finger? My nails are so long. What the heck? Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. That situation got real weird real quick. Okay, do you guys see? what I did it's really simple it's nothing fancy 
I don't know about these eyeshadow palettes, guys. This is going to be a little tricky. Okay, let's try the pink without any glitter glue. Yeah, I feel like these are going to be more opaque with the glitter glue, but I think I might even want to use, like, the Too Faced over the Anastasia. I might have to return that Anastasia glue. I don't really like it. You guys must really... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at this. Yeah, that these shadows definitely, like the iridescent sparkles, definitely need like a glitter glue. The Anastasia glitter glue I did not like. Hmm. I feel like I should almost start over. Wow. I think these would make like amazing like inner corner highlight palettes but I don't know how anyone's gonna enjoy these hmm interesting lots of disastrous moments I don't even really know if I need to do lashes with this look guys I'm just gonna leave it I need to go and figure out you know how to get my other palette since I ordered it and yeah, hopefully you guys will hear more about these palettes from me soon. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.